Good evening and welcome to our election night coverage here on News 13 at 10. What a night in a historic presidential election. Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton, the first major party female candidate, entered the night looking like she could easily defeat Donald Trump, like she had many more avenues to the White House than the businessman turned politician. But all that has changed this evening. Let's take a look at the national numbers. First, the popular vote. And it looks like... Trump is ahead by more than 1.5 million votes in the popular vote tonight. The all-important electoral college, the electoral votes of Trump right now with 238 to Hillary Clinton's 209. She has trailed throughout the evening, and it looks more and more probable that Donald Trump will defeat her tonight for the presidency. He was able to carry some major battleground states such as Ohio, Florida, that a lot of people thought would go to Clinton. So again, we're just waiting for the some final races to be called. In fact, right now we're waiting for the Wisconsin numbers. Wisconsin is where Trump is leading Hillary Clinton. Something of a surprise by about three points right now with 78% of the vote already counted there. So if that state falls in the Trump category, it looks like he will, in fact, win the White House tonight. And of course, as expected in New Mexico, Clinton did win very easily with double-digit lead. And Republicans have been celebrating the momentum throughout the evening, and now they are more and more encouraged that their candidate will win. Let's go out to Aaron Drawhorn. He's live at the Republican Party at the Convention Center. Aaron? Well, we went into this evening here thinking that New Mexico would go blue. After all, this state has voted blue since uh, 2004 is the last time it went Republican. But uh, there, we could immediately tell there was a lot of optimism here in this room, here at the Albuquerque Convention Center, especially when a lot of those key swing states were called early on for Donald Trump. Uh, the room really went crazy, especially with that critical call and. Uh, Ohio, North Carolina, Florida, and later on in the evening, uh, Wisconsin. A lot of people just uh, ecstatic about that. Uh, we can tell you, though, as we mentioned before, one person who has not been here at this uh, GOP party uh, is Republican Governor Susana Martinez. Uh, she has had her issues with uh, Donald Trump from the beginning of his campaign and has been critical of some of his comments. So we're, we're awaiting a uh, comment from the governor to see uh, what will happen here, depending on how the ultimate vote turns out. But according to uh, the projections right here in this room, Trump... 254, Clinton 209, and you can hear the familiar refrain behind me that we've heard all along in this campaign about Hillary Clinton. Lock her up, lock her up. We'll hear from the uh, state director of the Republican Party coming up in just a couple of minutes. Back to you. All right, Aaron, thank you. Now, Democrats are nervous tonight. They're wondering if Clinton will pull through. News 13's Kim Vias is live at the Democratic Party headquarters tonight at the Hotel Andalus. Well, you can really just feel the tension in this room. This was a packed room about an hour ago. It is slowly thinning out. A lot of people have been on a roller coaster. Clinton trailing throughout the evening. There was a very, very small window where she jumped into the lead. Well, that faded very quickly. When Trump won Florida and some other big states, there was just a resounding gasp in this room. Many people in disbelief really holding on to hope that Clinton would pull this through late into the night. Now. They are not ready to give up quite yet at all, not even close. There are still some key states not yet declared. Many people hoping tonight is the night that America makes history and we do elect our first female president. There were so many women, even men in this room, who are wearing shirts or pins that say Madam President. Now, Senator Tom Udall is also here tonight. He has been one of Hillary Clinton's biggest advocates here in New Mexico. I feel uh very good about where we are and uh, you know it's a it's a long it may be a long night uh, we got to get all the votes counted and get them in but but you know people know Hillary and she know they know what she's about now that was Tom Udall speaking to us earlier in the night before Trump pulled off those big wins in Florida and some other key states. Now he did still say that it would be a long night and he would hold on to hope till the very end. Now Michelle Lujan Grisham, who did win her race, re-elected to Congress, is also here tonight. She also very hopeful that we will have our first female president. She was wearing white tonight in Hillary's honor. Back to you. All right, Kim, thank you very much. Kim Baez live in downtown Albuquerque with the Democrats tonight in their party. 
Former New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson made an impact tonight as well on New Mexico voter, voters. The Libertarian candidate has so far received 9% of the votes in the state. He remains at his watch party tonight at Hotel Albuquerque, and he spoke to his supporters not long after it was announced that Hillary Clinton had won the state. You know what? We came to dance and let's dance. There's a lot, there's a lot to celebrate. A lot to celebrate. This is a celebration. I think it is just the start of a really big movement. In his speech, Johnson also talked about he and his running mates' plans for their campaign and said how more and more voters are now registering as libertarians.